Miguel says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. It's weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old mine town. Bandits. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! I don't want to skip chat. First of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. Yes? Just for a short bit. I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground in their stead, I'd do it. Gladly. But. We are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So, they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask you. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. We. Oui. Need you strong. Okay. All right. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close and we'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon.
Tell me you at least got the money before it all went to hell on that boat. Wait, is that someone coming towards us? You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen, found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. I know them horses cold, nigga. I feel like the new Bahamas might die. That's why he want to guard the rear, my nigga. Like, what type of timing is you on? Hitch up here. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Look at the leg tracks, bro. This gonna look crazy, bro. Get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Not there. Over in the cattle shed. Arthur, what are you doing? I said get out of sight. Arthur, 
All right, think it down. Hello. Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. They about to blow that nigga, bro. Hello. Oh, uh, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. <laughs> we can't help you, mister. Do we just up blick chat? Now, friend. Hopefully it's automatic reload, chat. Or oh, it is. Where did he run to? Bro, it's really hard to run in this snow, chat. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colmo Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. What in Colmo's head is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Place is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. I'm low-key cook, chat. Why he bust through the door like that? Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Oh, okay. Grab anything you think we can use and meet me out here. 
We're good. You need everything, chat. We need everything, chat. Film, you know? Sneaky little bastard. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? With the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that. I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. Please. Should we talk about how to beat him? Please, partner. Don't outlaw chat. I'm outlaw chat. Nigga, we ain't sparing nobody. My gun go. In my hat, nigga, knock my hat off, bro. Bro, GTA 6 better be tough, bro. This game is tough, bro. Look how he just, like... Look at the footprints, bro. We can take these motherfuckers from that fuck. Well, this our place now? See how he just moved the damn. Get away from me! Yeah! What the, what the fuck is going on? Where the fuck she come from? Leave her alone! I wasn't doing that. She's one of them old driscoll. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her, miss, miss. Are you? Fuck you, fool! Miss. It's gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, please. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. You okay, miss? They came three days ago. 
with us. Of course. Yes. It's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. So, uh, it's okay. Uh, get on. Uh, we'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. He... he was my husband. Hey! Somebody's coming! Looks like it's Dutch. Why he up blick on me though, man? If he knew me, I don't trust him. Found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his. I don't trust him, chat. We found some of them there, but there is more about. Apparently, scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets. A little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up, give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Because I'm him, nigga. Because I'm him. What's good, Twitch? Ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong, and he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine. She owe me. And you? I need you to. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but it's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two. Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know... The situation were reversed. Good look for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. GTA 6 better be tough, chap. They're chilling. How about you, man? We playing Red Dead like campaign for the first time, chat. For the first time. So far, it's a W, bro. So far, it's a W. Uh, my controller is acting right. Somebody left. 
recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. Let's get it. There's some tracks leading to the river. John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? Huh? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkerton. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. <laughs> Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That well, ain't like him, though. <laughs> Tracks go left. Davy got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. <laughs> Ooh, my fault, my fault, my fault, G. My fault, G. My fault, G. I almost killed his horse, bro. Come on, boy. Horses are getting tired. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Bro, I feel like he got me on a dummy mission, bro. What the f Let's see if he can hear us. That's his horse, chat. Come on. Up there. That's his horse, chat. That's my man's horse, I think. Chat, we up on the mountains, bro. Careful here. Yeah, that we're high up here. You're telling me. Carol. Careful. There's a 
drop here. Watch out here. Stay low under here. Okay. Good now. Watch your step. Real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Gap here. About that, the eastern chat. Closer now. Come on. We're coming, God. How did he jump up there, chat? Thought I lost him for a minute, chat. John, can you hear me? <gasps> oh my fault, bro. I keep pushing the wrong button, chat. My fault, bro. I shot his little thing, chat. I ain't shoot him, chat. Where's John at? Where's John? See nobody. Okay. That's quite a stretch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. What happened to him? You don't look so good. Oh, uh, he could. Just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. I'm telling you, now I gotta carry this nigga back, bro. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry side? Can't argue with you there. See? I told that you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. So, come on. Hopefully, this will lead us out. Ah, uh, shit. Perfect. You head for the horses. I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. All right, John, come on. Let's get you on that horse. Okay, let's get going. Oh, that motherfucker deep, boy. They about, they about to take me down, bro. We got to get up out of here. I eat some chat. That's his horse. Doing, I was about to get on your horse, nigga. Come on, then. Come on we out. We got a blood trail in the snow. All kind of shit, bro. This shit is crazy. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. We gonna fall off that bit. Look at him. He finna fall, nigga. Four 
Oh, we fucked the cook, chat. Oh my god, chat. Oh my god, chat. Oh my god, chat. Bitch. Oh. Bitch. No, no worry. No problem. We got a shooter. Oh my god, chat. You're gonna be okay. We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. On that guy. are lucky right now. You should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. I feel bad for this horse, bro. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get. That nigga jumped in the water, D in the snow, bro. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camp. Come on, move, nigga. I'm about to fall out this bit, nigga. Move. Well, chat. We got some help. We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Right, here we go. There we go. Hey, oh. careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Imagine being cut and cold, nigga. Oh, nah. We even buy your standards. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks, I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss, let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We've been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait to thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just warm. Just coming to check on, bro. I didn't know I smoked that. I need some food, bro. Oh, sorry. Help me, boy. 
boys because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. I fell, but when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> <A> party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> Damn. I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Folks been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Colm O'Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. Time to run down on some niggas, chat. I doubt that. Nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more been revenge for business long ago they were talking about trains and detonators here comb always had good information come on and you think now is the right time to hit a train now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit i'm getting too old for that life mr matthews mr smith mr pearson would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. Oh, gang with us. Are we all here, chat? They're camped near some lake. Okay. Let's go find You about to run down on some niggas, chat? Out here are us and them. Trey! They must be this way. You good? Doing something? Doing something? Listen, I know you do this for me real quick. My ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You like to get yours? You know I get yours, I and then. I learned a long time yeah. ago that you can't call Mo Driscoll. Trey gonna play for me, chat, while I don't get my food. Take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. gentlemen this is it are we goddamn ready ready, ready dutch ready Good. now mr morgan and i we're gonna head up here a little see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp mr williamson mr bell you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp mr summers 
Mr. Escuela, you two, hold position here. Let's go. Definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. Oh my guy, I smacked him up. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get him? No. Home can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right, let's go pay our old friends a visit. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. You got it, Dutch. Sure. Seems easiest to take the same path down. I think you're going the wrong way. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. But, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? just talking about something our needs right now are supplies equipment and a way out of here everything else including comb can wait okay there's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is now come on
Watch out. It's a bit steep. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way I... You shooting at somebody? Gunning, hush. Oh. Let's just get down there first. Down through these trees, quick. What about you crazy chap? There's cornbreads. Happen. Okay, let's get the cover. Where is there any job to be done? So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. So we got everything. <laughs> I'm getting dropped from up top, chat. Ooh. Real shooter. That's all of them. Search the bodies. Strip everything we can from them. Do you recognize any of them, Dutch? Of course not. Paul doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. So you can shoot a gun and ride a horse and kill without thought. You're in. Think how long coming you have been with me. I imagine Cole doesn't even know half the name. 
name to these fools. Keep looking! We need everything we can get off of these bastards! People there. Real shooter, chat. I don't even see nobody. Oh. oh yeah. We don't need dead eye chat. I'm an automatic dead eye, bro. they shooting from chat Tear this place apart. Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right, 
Let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and out. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. I think he's Captain America, don't he? Life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Matt, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're going to stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Black Oh, wow. Black. That won't happen again. I'm thinking, chat. You see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Colm? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got it. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. What the hell did I do? Still. Please don't kill me, please. I, sur I surrender. Uh, I won't be no trouble. Mister, please. <laughs> just, just, just take it easy. Fuck on Dodge, huh? Eh? Don't hurt me. It literally would not let me. Look, I give up. It literally don't won't let me. me. It might stop, bro. Be genius, chat. I'm literally near him, bro. Did you just shot? Don't hurt me. <laughs> there we go. Okay. That's not the way I can do it. You're coming with me. You got me mixed up with someone else. This 
I missed the horse shot. I threw him on the ground. Oh, God, no. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some pen you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please. your mouth you little shitter I will shut it for you oh god please no I have a heart mister they don't tell me nothing I swear are you trying to test me is that it because I will break every bone in your body I'm sorry I'm sorry okay one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's two bones right there. Shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Gang up. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. Who shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. What's up, John? Appreciate coming out to the stream, buddy. What you need. I can't believe it. An O'Driscoll in my camp. No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister. I, I hate that fella. Oh, whatever you say, son. Yeah. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now. Here's coming to the stream, John, bro. How you doing today, buddy? Okay. All 
All right. Two missions down, chat. Where are going? Where my guns at? Guess that worked out. With the old Driscolls. Now we just have to rob this train and get out of here. Yeah. But them wagons are still snowed in. I ain't talking about that. Having fun in here, Lenny? More since we robbed the old Driscolls. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be out of here soon. What building did he walk in, chat? Can you get a chance? Send someone down the track back to that farmhouse. Okay. Why? That poor woman's husband needs burying. Of course. And is it safe down there? Oh, How are you doing, Molly? So now you're robbing a train. Understood. How is that going to help us? I'd speak to Dutch about that. I'm just doing what I got to do. Just a few more days and we'll okay, get Mr. Off this ship. I hope so. I think so. Well done for finding Mr. Marston. Some good news at least. Yep. You okay, Abigail? Yeah. Abigail. Are you boys get on with those risks? Of course. He that is so impoverished that he has no You've been happier now, Jack? Will he be will okay? Yeah, I think so. He speaks Just needs to rest. Where do I go, chat? Oh, he must be in here. They walk so slow in this. Oh, bro. <coughs> We're going to starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy, I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. If needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found Enough nothing. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Charles on tea, it ain't. <coughs> trying to get outside, what? You take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun. 
and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. All right, let's head out. Yeah. Got you some right now. Something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. How y'all liking this story mode so far? I'm liking it so far, chat. Deer been here recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave. Sit on your horse. The gun will scare everything around. I am, nigga, damn, nigga. Stay low and move slowly. You see the tracks? I uh, think so. Maybe not. Focus. Get that 
that bow out, Arthur. Aim for their head and neck. We want a good, clean kill. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. Quick, before they move. I feel like Hawkeye. I feel like Hawkeye, chat. Once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Oh, where's it? Head back. Huh. Arthur. Uh, careful. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. Yeah, it's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, so maybe our luck's finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off, <laughs> bless me, chat. Still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle. That's his horse, chat. That I shot the other day. This game is realistically crazy, bro. Good that we caught more than one. That's the same dude horse chat that I that I uh more mouths to feed. that I tied up. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and offer Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang, nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back, and not in a good way. A proper blood feud. Watch out. Bear up ahead. 
Let's see if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Still going up? Oh, nah. Oh, nah. They're gonna do it. Cut up here. Off the trail. I don't know, track. Getting on this side, just in case. I see the bear, Chad. Look over there, Chad. Y'all see it? Bro. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but it's Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yeah. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. For a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. Or never. Good. Bro, y'all can see the, the deer is getting like more snow on the chat. That is crazy, bro. 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. <coughs> Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but you know that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Time over here. Brought some food back, boys. Whoa. <sighs> Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Drop it down in here. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now, shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. 
I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you just dumped on the floor there. Too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> We're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. We make a good stew. Folk need it. Been a tough few days. <sighs> few days later, chat. It's been a bad few weeks, but Dutch. Being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I don't mind you to show me some respects, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah, then you'll pay me. But for the moment, let's just rest. Arthur, I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He see me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? The weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? He's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. All right, we're moving out. Follow me. Get it, Chad, it's time. Your head for once. 
You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the track, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Let's get it, man. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. About to rob a train, chat. Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Whoa! How you getting on? Sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. About to blow this bitch up, chat. says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now.
Gentlemen, it's time. Time, chat. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Here we go. Hold him on, hold him on. Hey, yo. Here we go, here we go. Oh, hey, yo. I'm flipping. Help. I got you. Now stop yelling. Papa, help me. Oh, man. I don't know what time it is. Dude. Come on, we need to stop this train. Oh shit. Stop it, he's I'm going to be the one to put you. Oh, right in the kneecap. Right in the knee. Come out. Hmm. Oh, this is like an action movie chat. Hey! Oh! Hold on, chat. We gotta stop it. Come on. Oh! Help me! Help! I'm cooked, chat. Get off me. Help, Eagle! Bitch! Let me grab him. Let me get him. Bitch. Let me. Oh, come on. Bitch. Come on. There we go. Fuck off this train, nigga. Come on. There we go. Chat. Uh oh. Uh oh. Got more coming up. Ooh. 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 Who is this? There better be somebody up. Oh, Wait. Ooh, that was oh, that's a headshot. I want to. Okay? Mm. Oh, he lucky I had to reload. Come on, peek, 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 peek. Mm -hmm. ah. Ooh. 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 Boy, that aim on target, boy. No running. Yeah. They doing all the way back there. Oh, let me get up top. Oh! Bitch. There we go. Good shoot, kid. I can see now why the old Driscoll brought so many boys up here for this. Parker, get over here. You two all right? 
Yeah, so we can just get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this lad's car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't Somebody about to get shot. Any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corn. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now, light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish. They cook. I'd step back, feller. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, oh yes. Could be easy as cake. You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Oh, this circle. Okay. Let's see if we can get this open. I don't think so. Here, make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. No, this looks like so. Railroad some. contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. I think I got them. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? Well, what do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. I think we killed these guys, chat.
W game, bro. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Micah, get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. I'll say less. Pick the wheel up. <gasps> Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, <clears throat> get in. I'll tell you. <clears throat> not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then... Cut left, inland. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. 
Stolen clean away from them, it was. Every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how is that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. The spider duchess talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles. Born and bred. Nah, this game tough, Chad. No. GTA 6 gotta be crazy, bro. So, what happened to your track? Chad, y'all can see the ground. Like, the wheels getting in the mud, Chad. That's crazy. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of the game is so detailed, bro. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marshman, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. The Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. What's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yep. He's sourcing to go faster. Hey, we just head in there, follow the tracks for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. 
Oh, so this is our new home? You were wrong, Hosea. This place is perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. But now, now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a, a long way from that the nigga green. Thug, and that nigga thug. nigga put the leg up on that nigga. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam in a few months. Buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolation. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor now. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And uh, we need food, real food. That means every day, one of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, Half gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson! I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Hey, sleep, shave, change clothes, or store weapons at your tent. That's the it's a W chat. seems a little better his eyes are sparkling once more and i can see he's thinking a little clearer i think we all feel a little happier in spite of black water and that whole mess i think jose no a minute chat <laughs> quite a day let's hope so there's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Arthur, my boy, 
my dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. That's Molly. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Let's do again. I about know all these people now, chat. I can shave. Should I shave, chat? I, I kind of like my beard, bro. Should I shave, chat? Morning. I think that's Abriel, chat. No, no, no. Um, not Abriel. Uh. Again, uh, hey, it's all the H. I told y'all, bro. You okay, Abigail. Abigail, Abigail, chat, Abigail. Tell y'all, bro. I know everybody. That's uh, that's little Jack right there. Little Jack, Jack. It's fam, chat. It's fam. Hey, you were sick. A little bit, but Uncle Hosea gave me some medicine. Okay, good. A little Jack, Jack, chat. It's fam now, chat. <laughs> that's uh. This is my man's I kept that chat. This is my man's I kept that chat. You're Arthur, right? Yeah, this is me. My name ain't no concern of yours. I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah we, we'll I'm get. Give a damn. Look, you, you seem like a decent fella behind it all. Then you ain't a good judge of character. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll leave it there then. Yeah, I about know everybody chat by heart. This uh, this Lenny, yeah, Lenny, Lenny, Lenny. Only black nigga, chat. Only black nigga. Oh, it's another black nigga, bro. It's another black nigga in the fam. Can I lick your <laughs> Who that? I think that's um. That's Molly. She look like Molly. Oh, that's Suzanne. I just seen her. That I just said. that confused me, chat. Um. These right here, chat. These are uh. Good morning. I don't know them yet, chat. Hey, I think they knew her, chat. They knew her. They... Good morning, Arthur. Yeah. I, I, I couldn't tell who he was until he turned around. At least our horses is good. Can I eat some? What is this? Oh, a sack? I'm ready to eat something. Eat something. Ooh. Ingredients. Did he just come and talk to me? Arthur. How's the cigar? Not bad. But sometimes I prefer a pipe. I've been meaning to get one for ages. I left the old one in there in black water. I know. Well, if I find one, you can have it. Well, you are a gentleman, Mr. Morgan. I raised you well. <laughs> oh, don't take too much pride in your work. 
Hey, shave, chat. Skip it. It seems like I gotta shave. Oh, so the length of your your length of your beard is only what you can trim it down to. So I can't go, I can't get higher than this because this is my length. Until my length get longer than that, chat, I'll be able to go up and down. I'm gonna trim this. Down. I'm good. Chat. What I gotta do? Sleep? I think I gotta sleep, chat. Come on, fucking. How long we sleep, a chat? Eight hours? 14 hours? I know I usually sleep for, for like. 12 hours, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him sleep for eight hours, bro. to be off that mountain, Mr. Pearson? Yes, indeed. Lots to do now. You're quite the amusing companion, aren't you? I like to think Excuse so. Me, Arthur. Oh, he back walking now, chat. How's the vacation, Marston? You need to take a look in the mirror. Look. I'm only kidding around. You ain't right in the head. I'm about to keep sitting what? around, getting waited on hand and foot. What the hell is wrong with you? All right, for some. I'm done with listening to your horse crap. Oh, chat, you could talk shit to people, chat. I'm about to go find some people to talk shit to, chat. No, I ain't putting nothing in there. Do we take money, chat? Oh, it's a gift item. I'd rather give an item, bro. I get it. I got two watches. I don't need two watches. They not getting the platinum. They getting the silver. But I got two rings though. I get them a ring, bro. I donate a ring, chat. Get me up out of here. I ain't giving them my money. I ain't giving them my money, chat. I'm about to go find somebody to talk shit to, chat. Oh yeah, caught one. You ain't quite as fine as you think, Miss Jackson. That's what I'm saying. Start 
with this now. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, Miss Jackson. Like, you ain't all that. You're stuck up. Just leave it now. She like stuck up. You act all bougie and shit, cause you all right. I ain't gonna be racist. I ain't gonna be racist, chat. And annoyed. Will you go away? Alright, I'm done then. Fuck you. Fuck it. Let's see what he talking about. What's up, Lenny? Lame at him. Little punk. Yeah. <laughs> and there was me thinking we were good. Ah. Oh, long words. Superior looks. What's your problem? Hey, don't take it out on her. On who? That's not a her? Man, fuck, man. I can't be talking shit to everybody, bro. I gotta find somebody I can really talk who gonna talk shit back, bro. Where my man's at? Oh, my man's on the what's in there? And then I he. If my man's on the tree, I ain't gonna say nothing. Arthur, stop daydreaming. I need Ooh. that man of action back. Sure. Thank you. Now get out of here and do something. They ain't gonna let me say nothing to him. I'm gonna say some shit to him right here. Good to see you. You revolt me. Stop it. Oh. Ooh. It's, I had to let him know I ain't playing, bro. I had to let him know I ain't playing at least, chat. Let me get on my horse, bro. We out this bitch. Come on. Been a while, bro. He's near. What the fuck up? You don't never change. You've been looking the same. Yeah. Fuck out of here. We going to a different house. We getting a different. We going. We about to work with the Indians, chat. Who's that, chat? Some something down here. Yo, bro. You know, they... I don't think you should just be wandering around here, friend. Not right there. You go. God damn it. Bitch, I can wonder where the fuck I want to wander to. Bitch. But his horse sweet oh his horse on fire chat is it damn chat his horse about to be burned to a crisp i'm trying to help it but it won't stop I need to cook, bro. I don't want to go too far, check. I gotta make sure I know how to get back home, chat.
long as I bring them some food back, I should be good, right, chat? He fired on me, chat. Like, I might got to bring him some food back. No, 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 no. Pick that up. It might be hungry, chat. Like, probably why he punched on me like that. He might be hungry. All right, let's go back home, chat. Where is home, chat? I think it's south. Shit. Realistically, chat, I don't know where home is, chat. Oh, home is right here. Go so, on. Uh, damn, chat. Who is this? What oh, is the store? The barber, barber shop. What is this. We might have to go down there, chat. It's me, it's me, it's me. Damn, she just out here with her gun out like that? Right by my people's crib? What's that? Let me take Rain on some food, man. Bring on some food, chat. Well, I take this too, chat. the butcher you're covered in blood man don't you worry about it okay I fought chat. I turned into a villain for a minute, chat. I almost tried to put put him in the fire, chat. Oh, cool. Where is Onk at? We got Onk right here. Onk. 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 Oh, ow, ow. damn! Careful not to work yourself to death, there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure, I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? Take us too? Why, what you got planned? Nothing. 
We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Am I gonna smash though? Am I gonna am I am I gonna am, am I gonna smash though? They ain't doing all this groupy stuff because they know I'm the number one top shotter in the city. Am I gonna smash though, chat? Oh shit. He drunk as hell. What the f I think I had a donkey and a horse on that. <laughs> Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Bro, I got lumbago. It's very serious. Let me see what he's talking about, chat. Alright, I'll see what's going on. Let me see what you're talking about. Lumbago, really. You alright there, friend? Oh hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? I'd really appreciate the help. I, I'm worried this one here will bolt on me too if I leave him. I got you, gang. <coughs> yeah. I'm down, boy. I'm down, boy. Wait, wait, wait. The fuck? Easy, boy. Easy. Easy, calm your ass down. Calm your ass down, big ass horse. Nigga, about six eight. Come on. Come on. This horse big than a motherfucker, boy. Is my horse this big? Bro, why this horse look gigantic, my nigga? I don't think my horse is this big. I'm not. I ain't gonna be able to do it right now. I'm gonna do it. Here, here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. Now, is it following me? Really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Can you do another old fella a favor? Get back on the damn wagon. All right, thank you. Come on, let's go. The Valentine. <laughs> the Valentine. Turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse bulb lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, you not hadn't been here. I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> Ain't a nigga like that, bro. It's always a nigga talking crazy when the hugs get around. Hello, nigga talking about he would have robbed me, bro. He talking about if it wasn't for the girls, he would have robbed me, bro. It's always a nigga like that, bro. Like, this nigga doing all this talking, bro. Like.
It's always a nigga like that when the husbands get around. They go nigga like all the females get around. They go nigga want to act all crazy like nigga want to be on young boy time and shit. Talking about I would have he would have robbed me if it wasn't for the female. Let me drop this nigga off, bro. But he get to put me in a headlock and shit and push me off this business. What is they on? They on stay on some freaky time, ain't they? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there. Near the stables. Watch out. Alright. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. Imagine Paris and so that's how you uh -huh. see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one shot kid. <laughs> okay. You're always an old nigga, bro. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. Oh man, go in, yeah, bro. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, yeah, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on. Nigga, a truck, bro. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? What's some damn? Let me just look. Tell you, I see that. A cigar always focuses the mind. I find. What do you say? Oh, well, I need a little scared, uh -oh. Arthur. Trust old uncle. Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the table. I need this. Here's the door. I need that. Uh, actually, need two of them. I need all three of them. Press, red roll. Put it in the motherfucker. Chat, that's my character favorite food, chat. You feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? Plus. Lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese. All what right. the? F Bro, he just. Bro, he just pushed me out the way, chat. Well, look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god awful time in the mountains. It's all done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do it. Let's go wait for the mouth side. I need some drip chat. Say this coat, how much? How far I get out of here? How far do I get out of here?
Ew. I'm trying to get out of here, chat. Nigga don't want to leave the store, bro. How far do you get out of here, chat? That's literally not letting me back out, bro. Literally. I think it's from here, though. Oh, there you go. All right, chat. Alright, I got all I need, bro. I just need just some bread, chat. That bread was good. Can I eat that shit right now? Oh, here's your good health, sir. <laughs> Being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world. <laughs> this time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. That nigga got trunk, chat. I think I got something good. What? Snuck into this fancy house, <laughs> acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night, as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. Right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Where's Chili and Ken? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. Set up chicks, man. Neighbors, ain't it true? Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. I'm about to beat this nigga ass, bro. Uh. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. I'm going, ain't I? You're lucky we're in a busy town, you son of a bitch. 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 Welcome in this busy town. I know Miss Jackson, my boo. I done tried to slide on Miss Jackson, bro. You telling me he gonna do that in front of me? Y'all just seen me trying to slide on Miss Jackson, bro. I'm gonna just pop out straight with the pistol this time. Get your hands off me, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. Or what exactly? You wanna find out? You know, you know, you know, Miss Jackson, right here, my sweet lady. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Show ass over there. You embarrassing me in front of these niggas. You got me over here pulling out my. You got me over here pulling out. You got me over here pulling out the front door. Oh, these niggas. Come on, bro. Now I gotta go find Karen. Where's Karen at, bro? Karen in here? 
It's Karen in here. Karen in here. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk fella. Mid 20s, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. That's where shit about to get rocky, chop. No trouble now, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's 2B. It's 2C. This, uh, 2. Well, get the hell out of here, will you? Sorry. Hi. Wrong room. Hi. Oh. This 2B? Oh, it's going down. I'm getting what I paid for. What'd he pay for? Hold on, bro. You like that, huh? <laughs> Bitch, stop playing on me, nigga. A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Hold on. Uh, no, nah, this shit ain't going. This shit ain't going down like that, nigga. This shit ain't going down like that, nigga. How are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. Trying to play him? Fine. You sure? B bitch. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just me and him. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. A bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. Lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. You got her ass smacked up, did she, chat? Got boots all on her and shit. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. Yeah, everything, Green. He just uh sleeping, taking a little nap, a little shit like that. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur did a lot worse to him. All right, then. Yeah, he's hey, dead. Who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy. Come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Go. Cool. Get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Yeah. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Please. Hey, that's my horn. Yeah. Just yeah. Away from me. Get back here right now. Yeah. Get out the way. I know exactly who he is, chat. This was the dude on the train, chat. A nigga like me, chat. A nigga like me, right? A nigga like me, right? Once I know you one of the ops, this was the nigga that was on the train. They got away. How you know me? Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in Blackwater. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Right. Now please pull me up, please. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Nigga like me. Matter of fact. I'm begging you. Where you at? I can't hold you. Ah! I 
got nothing to do with me. Shit. Come on, girl. Fell down. I ain't kill him. Shouldn't nobody be coming after me. Fell off the cliff. What was that town at, chat? I know we ran through here. This way. This ain't my horse, so I'm gonna ride. I'm gonna keep riding this way. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Gotcha, bro. You for sure about to scam this nigga. It's fucked up. It's fucked up, bro. You for sure about to use him as a dummy, chat. Alright, come on. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Fuck all that. Get on, bro. Come on. Okay, just quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Well, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen. Come on, man. Things. Get on, man. Remember with kindness. So if I fight a nigga, you gonna fight a nigga? Look out. Excuse me. Keep going. Yeah. He got gotcha? chat. Right, I think we gotta go back to the thing, chat. We gotta go back to the to the to the to the house, chat. Damn, chat, we got a long ride, bro. We got a long, long, long ride, chat. Do you got a problem? I wonder if I'm gonna be able to keep this horse. Wanna go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? 
I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. And I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Well, where are we heading, exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh. A bear? Too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go, then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him, and you can buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. Well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best of them. Well, I guess you're right. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. It's easy, boy. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Hey, it's a big horse, Doc. Don't be scared of him. What am I gonna do with this horse? Easy, big fella. Right. This is a big horse, bro. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. Come on. Couple of days. Good brains of horse pack at the Valentine stable. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Who that little beady ass horse, man? Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy, threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there, came back in the next day, and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spark, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. Have you found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. <laughs> Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Yeah, I guess there, I'll settle down. Just up ahead. All right. Go sell that big brute. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. So you want me to? You want me to sell this horse to buy a new horse? Hey. How can I help you? 
I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <whistles> yeah. And what about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No. No papers. Uh, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. Is this the horse I just sold? All right, I'm gonna come a call. My horse name gonna be. Bro, I bet not lose this horse, bro. I bet not lose this horse, chat.
partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. All right, shop. Got me a new horse, bro. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. Oh, yeah. He's gonna look after you just fine. You about to go crazy. Looks like a nice animal you got there. You happy? Guess we'll see. You won't know till you get in the saddle. Let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So, how are things with you and John? spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's Cole. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. Somebody said he got knocked out in Blackwater? Yeah. I just don't know if he was picked up or picked off. Or got away. But there's one thing shocking. I gotta make some more horse eat, chat. Blackwater's good at it, wriggling out of things. Yeah. Guess we don't. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. I'll try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 cal. For a varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right.
big job. All right. It's getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Now then, you get us set up. Well, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. I'm like little chicken nuggets, man. I'm gonna need about five of these. Better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. <coughs> Morning, and Arthur. <coughs> you ready? No, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous, but we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. Tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was... ...actually weaned on bear meat. Hurry up so we can get going. Okay. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Pack up, Arthur. Get after him. Okay, let's go. Idiot. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? 
I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but oh, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. Staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Tracks, gun, bones, any sign of him. Hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? If there's anything else. Something else on the ground. Just here. There she here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Lost him? For now. A little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work. Which do you think? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. We're trying to split up to find a bear. Those boulders up ahead looks like a good spot. Ah! Crazy man. More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? 
I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that face. Sure. Come on. You only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Oh, he's trying to get us set up, bro. Got your knife. Shit. Easy. Oh, it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well, you coming or not? I don't mind either way. Uh, I'm leaving. Can't fuck with that bear. I'm coming with you. <laughs> Let's get going then. Fuck. Fuck that bear. You know what I'm saying, chat? This game think I'm about to go and chase a bear, bro. What do I look like, bro? Bear. A bear. With a scar on his face. Good six nine. Any crap about disappearing like that. I don't need another. We gotta be out there making money speak. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it's a big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon. Look into something. See you later. All right, chat man. This horse, bro. Interrupted my outro. Alright, chat, man. I think it's time for us to start Ant Man, chat. I believe it is time. W game though, chat. W game, bro. Let me send these videos up to YouTube. Thumbnail.